Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus here again. And I got a, oh, a whole bunch of information to share with you about those things that are so wonderful about your life, especially in spite of the things that you are enduring today. And I come to you, ladies and gentlemen, and I suggest and I advocate that we reset the USA, that we redo it and fix what yesterday destroyed of today. This presidential campaign for 2020 is founded on the foundation of as in heaven, so on earth. I say to Americans, you believe in Jesus, believe also in me. Like you, I don't walk on water, but the message I bring heals the sick. It opens the eyes of the blind. It helps the lame to walk, the dumb to speak, the deaf to hear, and the haters to love. So let us, we the people of America, light up morality. In Mississippi, it is known as one of the most, as far as the reputation goes, devastating social and economic poverty. I was traveling down by Jackson, Mississippi, and I saw a town called Madison. It is as beautiful as any town anywhere. Now there are great, great cities and gated all over the country as lovely as paradise. And so I need, I want, I desire your support for a new America. We must go to the other side of the track and make it as beautiful as any side. We must go to the failing cities and renew them. Cities like Chicago, Detroit, Atlanta, New Jersey, Alabama, and yes, Mississippi, Iowa, and every city to make them as beautiful as any city and its people as successful as people anywhere. Create brand new infrastructures all over the nation with clean, healthy water supplies everywhere and remove the poisons from the food and the atmosphere. Every home, every apartment should look like a picture from a magazine. The people, old and young, of every shade must have their dreams realized. So let us assure one another freedom from any threat to our lives. Food, clothing, shelter, education, and health care must never run out before the replacements are apparent. I'm speaking about a new, a new America. There are many representatives, or should I say these, what I have shared with you up to this point, are the representations of the God, the will of the people that have been denied by the blind denied by the lame, denied by the deaf and dumb, denied by the dead. It is time we all rise up from our graves and live. According to the principles of life, these are a simple matter. It is as simple as eminent domain that allows all Americans to claim all America's resources. Land, water, trees, minerals, gold, oil, iron, coal, and all natural resources as our own to be used by Americans for Americans and America's heaven on earth to be paid for 
by putting every workable American in a career of their choosing, which is interrelated with all careers, and together produce all that has been described to you here in an abundance that is sufficient for all times, for all Americans, without the pain of debt, fines and fees, penalties, and the things that we have to go through. So ladies and gentlemen, what I am advocating for you in summary is that we, the masses, have been abused ever since we've been on earth. A earth that was built for all people. But a few people with a lack of compassion for one another who just decided that they themselves were going to cancel out any God decree and create their own. And by the institution of fear and death and lies and all of those things that are the foundations of an anti-God, use them to destroy what God has designed for us. But as I stand before you today, ladies and gentlemen, all of the politicians recognize the state that we're going through today. Most of them hate it. Others seem to be going along with it. But one thing about it, ladies and gentlemen, you don't love it. You hate it. But if you really want to do something about it, now is the time. You're going to hear all kinds of people saying to you, Republican and Democrat, about what they will offer. And they will offer different things. But what will it be, ladies and gentlemen, in comparison to what you have received in the past? It will be mostly the same. So I'm saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, if you desire to have a life, I know you've always wanted it, ever since you've been able to recognize what life you've been missing. You're going to have to rise up and do something about it. Not your politicians. You're going to have to be the representative. You're going to have to stand up and say, this is the way we want it. And if we're going to say we want it differently, ladies and gentlemen, then let's don't have step. Let's do it the best way. If there's a heaven and everybody says, especially those that believe in it, that they want to go there, I say to you, why go to heaven? Go if you have no other choice because you were so wonderful in life and that's the way God planned it. But while here, right here today, let us make sure that there is no excuse because we use our energy, we use our ability to think and our compassion for one another to do those things that we are hoping that somebody will do for us one day. But we feel more entitled to it if we've done it for ourselves. Now is the time for us to rise up. Now is the time for us to look out and make sure that every city and every town and every shade of our people here make sure Without doubt, our needs, our wants, and our desires guarantee that which will allow us to have all of the education we need, all of the health care, the food, the clothing, and all of the shelter that we'll ever need. And all of this is paid for by you, the people, not with money, but by you engaging the gifts that God has given you. Those gifts, when exercised, gives you the greatest joy in life. And all of that wonderful extra stuff we call paradise is just cream on the top. I know you're not going to hear anything like this from anybody else. You don't even hear about this in church, but you have heard it from me. And I want you to know just as plain as it is dark at night and light in the day, this is real. And it can be made obvious by your power, for it is your choice. Don't think one minute, don't let anybody trick you thinking that God is going to do this for you except unless you allow the Spirit of the Lord living inside of you to guide you, to dictate to you where you must go, the steps you must make. And we walk through that gate, straight and narrow. I want to thank you so very much, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to this part of my presentation to you. And I want you to, if you got questions, and I'm sure you have, you better have some questions, go to my YouTube, Facebook, YouTube and Facebook uh, media sources. And I've got a section there identified as 2020 presidential campaign. Look at all of the things that I need to say to you, you want to have said to you about the future in relationship to the reset. And if you want some additional information, some history information, then continue to go back outside of this 
particular arena. Facebook, MySpace, YouTube, for years, and see what Eddie has said and Eddie has done in this regard. Now, I'm not a drawn strong. I can't, even with your support, be smart enough to set and design all of the steps and the paths that must be set. But I want you to know that the people of America, you got wonderful people, even in the Congress, you got wonderful people, smart, intelligent people that can do mostly anything, just give them the opportunity. And so what I want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is for you to call them forth and us together give them the opportunity to express the love that they want, the love that they've been missing. Thank you.